It is time to read the newspaper. Before we read our article, these are the questions that I'm going to be asking you afterwards. So I want you to listen for the answers. What is the paper about? Where will the census count every person? And what counts every living person in the United States? The title of our story is 2020 Census. And the author is in news to you in the current events. Before we start reading, I'm going to show you a video to help you figure out what our story is going to be about. Let's get ready.
to employ funding for services like fire stations, schools, clinics, and representation that affect your community. How will 2020 census data be used? Where there are more people, there are more needs for public services. That's why the census is used by the government to inform funding decisions each year. But that's not all. It's also used by nonprofits to inform services, by businesses to create jobs, and even by students for school projects. Understanding how the population changes helps us shape communities across the country for the better. How does the 2020 census affect representation? There are 435 seats in the House of Representatives. These get distributed to the 50 states by population, and an accurate census response helps your state get the right amount of seats. States with smaller populations get at least one, while states with larger populations might get more. How do I take the 2020 census? In March 2020, every address in the country will receive an invitation to complete a simple questionnaire. And there are three ways to respond. Number one, do it online. Number two, call by phone. Number three, send it by mail. For those who don't respond, a census taker from your community will follow up and assist you. Is my 2020 census data safe? After sending your census response, your personal information is kept safe. By law, it can't be shared with any other government agency, law enforcement, or landlord. No one. So take your 2020 census with peace of mind. Shape your future. Start here. Visit 2020census.gov.